A seasonal winter is You straight. bought a bunch of Fernet because a bunch of bartenders drink it straight. Right. And now you want to make a cocktail with it. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. From Toronto. <laughs> From Toronto. <laughs> Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, Danny and Derek make for you the Toronto Cocktail. This cocktail is probably from Toronto, I don't know, but it has maple in it. So, oh, I mean, Canada, maple, yeah. that's a thing. It could be from Maine, though. Vermont? Yeah, Vermont. Dude, Vermont, there's a lot of maple. Have you ever heard of a Vermont cocktail? No. No, but I've heard of Vermont maple. <laughs> See? Yeah. They it's, make a lot of maple syrup in Vermont. Apparently, they have maple trees Maybe there. we should have Canadian whiskey. But it calls for rye. Oh, oh shit. Canadian whiskey. I, I don't we know. Made Canadian maple syrup whiskey one time is typically rye. What? Is we it? made maple syrup growing up one time. We cut trees and we got about... Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and we boiled it all down. We got about a gallon out of 40 gallons of sap. And it was that's really why it's so expensive. Yeah. yeah, it was really thin. It wasn't like thick like this probably is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. This is this is probably even more, but I got it for free, so... Oh, maple syrup. Uh, this is... Well, some gets really thick. The, the yeah. more they boil it down, the thicker it gets, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, this was like you lose more and more. This and was more. more like water than syrup. Yeah, yeah, because it's ultra concentrated. How long did it like take? To, like the whole process. I mean, from tapping the trees, I mean, yeah. getting all the sap takes time, right? Right. Because oh. you got to drain all the trees, and then you right. drain it at a certain rate. So, so it's, not, it's not like turning a spigot on. I mean, it's yeah, days, it's, not. it's weeks, right? Really? And then you I have no idea. And then you boil it down, so you're basically boiling it until all the water evaporates out of it. Mm. Um, so it took a while. And then the trees dry up and fall onto the ground. No. You know, no. Boil. <laughs> then they produce more. Oh, it's like it's like goat milk. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, tree form. In, in tree goat milk. Do you so, boil the goat? And it's sweet. <laughs> you boil the goat once. Sometimes. Sometimes I do. You tap the goat. I mean, yeah. that's different. Yeah. Well. I mean, well. you probably done that, but. <laughs> <laughs> The recipe is two ounces of rye whiskey, half ounce of Fernet Branca, half ounce of maple syrup, two dash of <laughs> stir bitters. Ah. Uh, stir it. All right. Orange peel it if you have one. I don't have an orange peel. So we're just going to so go with the recipe. So what do we think? Recipe. This is... Uh, this is Toronto. Old fashioned. Yep. It's going to be... Maple syrup. Yeah. It's going to be... It's going to be... It, it's kind of like... It's not going to be pepperminty, is it? No. No. <laughs> no peppermint. Everything's going to taste like peppermint now. Though. Yeah. So I basically, know. we ruined our palates for the night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good thing we started with that one. Yeah. Good, uh, call. Good call. Who produced that? <laughs> that was me. I put it in the front to get it over with. because I Well, it did get rid of all my bad breath, though. So. Oh, there, there you go. go. Now you have yeah. empty, fresh breath. What are you doing? Can you open that thing? It's already yeah. open. Well, I know, but what it was I was doing, I was like... Tearing your fingers apart? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> don't be a baby. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I, I was confused about this, this syrup when I first got it. I thought it was bourbon with like maple bourbon. And then I poured it out, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, that's, that goes on pancakes. That's not maple. I put it on pancakes. That's why it's kind is of- Is it good on pancakes? Yeah. It's fantastic it's, on pancakes. That's good with bourbon. It's bet it is. Mm. I think we've done bourbon. Didn't, we did this last month-ish. Bourbon and maple syrup is- We've had, we, we mm. had, we used this before. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we used it last recording. I should live on that. Because mm. why wouldn't you? Ah, uh, it's tasty. So- I think it's going to taste like a bourbon Manhattan. Fan damn tabulous. Or is it a Manhattan or old-fashioned? Bourbon old-fashioned. The only thing, it's it's like a black Manhattan meets a, a whiskey bourbon maple sour or something. Except it's not sour in it at all. So I guess it's still really just Manhattan. Yes. Or old-fashioned, I guess. Well, there's no vermouth. Yeah. But okay. Well, what's so the so that's true. I don't, make my Manhattans, I, don't, I don't make Manhattans with vermouth. I make it with Amaro. Because, like, once I learned that that was a thing, that's good, I just right? never no going back. back. Yeah, no. So we, we, that's yeah, you can get dry vermouth, or you can get, and like, 700 right. a I'm going to do the same thing we did so last time. Why not make it yeah. yeah. Fernet's kind of, like, medicinal. It's, yes. Yeah. It's poopy. <laughs> it's poopy. like... It's poopy. It's a little what? minty. Yeah. It's got a little spirit. It's, You're poopy. I, I see it. <laughs> it's a little minty. A little bitter? I think the mint is just from the drink before. See that's a no. You try the front head. It's oh, a it's good. Yeah, it, it it's like a eucalyptus. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's it's like a eucalyptus. It'll be good for your throat. It's soothing. soothing. I'm soothing right now. Oh yeah. The front head's a little overpowering in there, but the <laughs> sweetness is good. Oh, I'm yeah. guessing we could have had the fernet. How much did you use? It didn't look right. Half ounce. It, yeah. it is me. We could we could have used like, like a quarter a, a of the cold. fernet probably, yeah. just because it's like really overpowering. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just you think so. Well, well, well. I, I'm wondering though, like if the maple is enhancing the fernet, like with that, like that 
sweet factor. Like it no, feels I'm like wrong. the. Come on. Well, it's really sweet. <laughs> it's, it's actually really sweet on your tongue. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the sweetness. And then, like, like kind of corrected. That's good. I think so, the sweetness mm. calms down the bourbon, and that causes that fernet like cold eucalyptus y. What's well, layered because you don't get the cardamom eucalyptus right away. Yeah, it, it just you get the sweetness. The then it's like Ricola. Yeah, and then it's like, hey, I'm yeah. here too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then it's a party in your mouth, and you're yeah. feeling like you're no longer sick. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully it works for people. That thing will cure ass cancer. I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. It's not bad. It's a little he's, sweet. He's... Yeah, it's a little sweet. It's a little, like, a little too sweet. No. <laughs> Dan is weird with no. the sweet. Yeah, you don't like the sweet too much? I like, see, I like sweet. That's a little too sweet. This we put Ango in that? This would be my drink of choice. Right? Yeah, right. you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I think it's sweet. That yeah, is sweet. That, I mean, it it's is sweet, sweet. but, but it, it, it has like a, a barrel finish to it. So it's like, it's okay. Did you, that I don't get any of the Ango in it. I got well, a lot of the Fernet. Well, how, Fernet's pretty overpowering. Yeah. Compared yeah. To Ango, I think. It's got that Are like, shot not a whole shot. He's not shooting. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a whole <laughs> shot. The, it, it has like a cola it. like flavor to it. Moxie. Like it's got mm. like a, mm. yeah, like a cola, like Moxie-ish. Yeah. Bourbon, mapley, like it's it definitely fits the season, and I don't mm. I don't think it's bad. I personally I, th I still think a black Manhattan with that is better, only because it cuts down on the sweet. But if you were to make a black Manhattan and add a dash of maple syrup, you've basically invented a Toronto cocktail by mistake, right? Because I actually don't mind like the Fernet like on the back. No, it's not. It's just it's different. <laughs> it's, it's sweet, but it's still like I don't know. This sweet. Something wrong with you. <laughs> He's drinking this drink thinking it's sweet. He's you, you licking the bottom of a that jigger that has syrup. Time. Time. <laughs> you, don't leave any in there because we need metallic. to use that again. It, really? Yeah. That's because you just tongued off the soldering point at the bottom. You just tapped it. No, I did. You mm -hmm. tapped it with your. You got all the. So that, my friends, is a Tronto cocktail. You know what though? After you drink it for I a while, you're like. Good. Too much? Yeah, it's He's a not lot. gonna taste it anymore because all he has is sweet. Yeah. No, now my mouth tastes like is like sweetie peppermint eucalyptus. With like a little eucalyptus jammed in there for like feel like a fucking <laughs> one of those fucking steamer <laughs> things. I fucking just like <laughs> shoved like it a, in my mouth. Like the incense. <laughs> really a spearmint cheese. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, either the pulpery <laughs> or like the little uh, oils, the essential oils. My lips went from being like numb and now they're just like. Oh, they're like, I know there's no freaking lemon juice in there, but holy shit. All, all <laughs> those sensations linger. So you, you just have to clear your palate with a shot of I'll do of it again, now. though. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something. Yeah. Like, well, we'll see what the next drink is, and then maybe maybe make adjustments or just drink it anyway. Is it a lemon juice shot? There's, <laughs> there is no lemon juice in the making of this month's videos. Uh, <laughs> but it's worth that, the, the watch of his face every time he does it. It's like you just keep you just keep drinking things that you don't want to drink. Yeah, but I and mean, you just do it again. Bad. I know, but then you do it again. I then try, again. but it's not bad. He's trying to like it. He does that with food Yeah. Oh. I'm like, maybe I'll like it the next time. Sometimes it takes a while to appreciate something. I don't not like it. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. It's yeah. a little sweet and it's... I think it's fine if you're having one drink. But if you're following up a peppermint drink or anything like that, it might, it, the drinks that come before and after yeah, this don't. make a difference. So this is going to be like, it's going to be bookended by something a little bit stronger. Uh, that's it. Sidebar. There's some videos over there. Bourbon based. Um, more seasonal drinks to come for the January time frame when all these videos go out. So that's it. Oh, bartender kit down below. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>